Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Marilyn, and in this video, I'm going to be creating a look for Cardinal Copia, who is the latest frontman for the Swedish band Ghost album prequel. Before we get started, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel as well. This makeup will be helpful if you want to dress up as him for Halloween or maybe to one of their concerts coming up. For a full list of products, you can check out the description box down below. Let's get started. For foundation, I'm just using one that is true to my skin tone. I really like Cardinal Copia's makeup because it's pretty simple and it's very different from the previous singers. So we're not going to have a very paled out face at all. You want it to be... Well, he's actually like pretty dark. Alright, so now I'm going to do this bro brow. <laughs> this is like my guy eyebrow, I guess. Uh, it's going to be kind of sad and thick to kind of mimic like a bushy eyebrow and then really feathered out at the tail. If you're a dude trying to do this makeup, you probably just have to fill in your eyebrows with like, I would say, like a medium brown color. His eyebrows aren't this dark, but I'm just gonna flick out the ends to kind of give it more depth. I'm blending the eyebrow product forward just because I don't want it to be too heavy in the front. And I'm going to keep the eyebrow pretty low on my brow bone just to give it more of that unkept and kind of male face shape. So the black eye shape is pretty important for this makeup. We want it to kind of hit the eyebrow pretty close at the top and kind of sag down outwards. For this I'm using a black eyeliner pencil. Now with that same eyebrow brush that I used, I'm going to clean up the edges. And now that my edges are a little cleaned up, I'm going to kind of blend all of that black towards the center. And now with the matte black eyeshadow, I'm going to set all of the eye areas. So now to finish off the eyes, I'm just going to add a little bit of black pencil liner in my waterline. Even when I smile, it looks sad. <laughs> so for the lips, I'm going to be using a black liquid lipstick and kind of messily draw in only my top lip. That's how he has it. I would really recommend a liquid lipstick just so that it doesn't transfer down like it's doing here. So you can just take that off. Once it dries, it won't transfer. I am going to draw on the wrinkles that he has and for that, first I'm going to set my foundation. To create the wrinkles, I'm going to just be going in with this little detail brush and this powder. I have like the tiniest forehead, so this is going to be kind of hard. I'm not going to do as many wrinkles as he has. I'm just trying to follow a reference picture the best that I can.
Ooh, I'm feeling manly. <laughs> For the nose, I'm switching over to my nose contouring brush. His nose is pretty like squared off. So that's what I'm gonna try to do is create more of like a square nose. So when you contour, you definitely want to highlight to really enhance the shapes that you created. So I'm going to take a little bigger detail brush and a shade that's like one skin tone higher than me. And I'm going to be adding this to kind of highlight where I made my shadows. To tie together all of my highlights and my face makeup, I'm just going to add a little bit of that same powder right under the eye bags and like the center of the face. Since I don't have a mustache or like sideburns really, I'm going to fake my contour to kind of mimic the shape of his sideburns. They're kind of straight going towards the middle of the face. So to finish off this look, we're doing the stash. I've never like drew a mustache on my face before, so hopefully I don't mess this up. Thank you for watching my Cardinal Copia makeup transformation. If you like this video, please make sure to leave a thumbs up down below and subscribe to my channel as well. For a closer look of this makeup, you can follow me on Instagram or Twitter at Marilyn Mugby. I'll see you next time. Bye!